Hello YouTube, I am back. It's Mike of PA. I'm glad to be back with y'all today. Um, I've got to cover the last three or four months that I've been off of the video. My webcam broke and I had to get a new one so I have been talking about a new webcam and I finally got it. I got some lighting issues as you can tell to deal with but it's a great cam. It's just this room is either too light or too dark so I've got to do some settings and changes. But I wanted to get in and I hope y'all can hang with me for about 10 minutes. That's probably what it'll take to clear everything that I've been doing for the last three or four months. But I am very excited to be back with y'all today. And the first thing I want to talk to you about is this weekend, this last weekend, I went down to Richmond, Virginia to Jackapalooza. It's a one-time event with Jack Matson. He's a balloon twister, a balloon master. And he... um is also featured in this month's Balloon Magic the Magazine. If you're a balloon artist you pretty much know about Balloon Magic the Magazine. And on the inside if you look, I'm going to get close here, this leprechaun right here, that leprechaun is Jack Matson's leprechaun. And he is the one that we went down to see and he gave us an amazing class. It was a very advanced class, which was nice. There was no stalling for this is a pinch twist. This is a lock twist and things like that. Everyone there was really experienced in balloons and the balloon art. So we really got to get down to it and to learn a few really awesome balloon creations and balloon sculptures. And afterwards, we had a jam for about three hours at a local restaurant, and that was just amazing to be able to pick his brain and everybody else around there. There was some world-renowned uh, balloon twisters there, some really awesome people. And I actually met the original Balloon Man Mike, which is something I wanted to get into. Balloon Man Mike has been a uh, twisted balloon for a long time. He has balloonmanmike.com, and... Uh, He's got it on his car, license plates, and everything. So he knows I was Balloon Man Mike also. But um, my business is going to be starting in three to four months, which is very exciting for me. So um, my balloon business is going to be named different. I'm not going to release the name yet because I still have research to do on it. But um, I will be releasing my business. And I don't want people going to him that thinks he's the Balloon Man Mike and my people his people coming to me thinking i'm him which is balloon man mike so we're in different states but still we're on the internet so that could interlink so i am going to officially as of right now in the next couple days i will be taking down the balloon man mike channel don't worry mike of pa will be staying here permanently um unless something drastic happens which i pray it don't but the balloon man mike channel will be coming down so if you see this video and you're on my Balloon Man Mike and not on the Mike of PA channel, please just add and subscribe on the Mike of PA channel. Because in the next two days or so, or maybe sooner, Balloon Man Mike will be coming down. And I know I don't have to. I'll probably get emails about that. I don't have to take it down. His name is not copyrighted, but just for me, because I don't want our businesses to interlink like that, you know, so um, I'm just going to do it because he's an awesome guy and I don't want to crawl over top of somebody that's already been Balloon Man Mike for a long time because he's a really awesome guy. But now for some of the stuff that we learned down at the Balloon Jam, Jackapalooza, he did go over some awesome stuff. This is kind of the leprechaun face, but um, it's not exactly. He just showed us the basic face and we build on it how we wanted to. He started off by making a Santa. He did the Santa suit and the Santa feet and everything, but I didn't want to make Santa because it's April, almost May. So I decided to make an older man, 30, 40 year old man here, maybe a little older. His jaw jawline did pop, I'm sorry, but that was his mouthpiece. When that jawline's there, it looks like a mouth, a little red showing for his mouth. But this is the face, as you can tell, it's a little different. It's actually a base off of the Larry Moss face. I believe Larry Moss was the creator. This is just the base off of it. Then there's some artwork on the eyes. But when you put it together, it looks really nice. This face is a little different from the faces that most of you balloon artists are used to. 
Most of you are used to the Loodle. Flower Clown created a, a body a little while back that looked something like this, and I asked him if it was a Loodle. This is Robbie Furman's Loodle. It's on his Oodles of Loodles video. It's a really awesome video. Y'all should check it out. You can get it on almost any site. T. Myers, LaRock. Um, you can almost get it anywhere, but Oodles of Loodles is the name of it. And this is a Loodle. It's really awesome. This one's a little older. But so you can't really see one of his legs is actually gone flat, but and they hold well. This is over way over two weeks old, but I decided I wanted to show you what a loodle was. And um that's the face you're used to, but Jack just took us to a whole new level with faces and how to build on them. And here's a different one. I know everybody knows this guy here. He showed us how to do this here. This is a really awesome character. A lot of people knows who he is. Oh! Okay, here we go with that. Some of the other things we covered. This is just adorable. I love this. Different creations of this here. This is a bear. It's a basic, it's a different bear than what you're used to. It's made out of 260s and 350 Qs. And he's just a really awesome guy. I enjoy him. My wife and daughter loves this one. And this little guy I know y'all remember Chili Willy here he is this is and this is a wrist bracelet here's what this is it slides right up here like this and this stuff is line situation for me um I can do this stuff right in a line so it's a little more advanced than what some people do but I enjoy getting the jobs and stuff like that that allows me to do that i try to stay out of the sun i'm not really in the sun anymore i'm usually in a restaurant situation or i'm in a corporate situation where i can make these in line and uh jack made us these awesome little bodies it's one balloons all of these i'm going to show you are from one balloon the body is exactly the same and here's the body this is the balloon dog the lighting, like I said, you can't really see, but that's the balloon dog, and it's white on white in this room. So these bodies are all the same. Here's the little pig. They're really super cute, and they're very fast if you want to do them in a line situation. Here's the elephant. You can do anything, a cow, a monkey, a rhinoceros, a rhino, pig, elephant, cat, dog, rabbit, almost any animal. You can throw any head up there you want to. I will be covering some of these things um, eventually. I will not, I believe, do, be doing the Loodle. Um, you can go out and purchase Oodles of Loodles if you want to learn the Loodle. But there's a few things here I will be covering over the next few weeks. Within the next 24 hours, I'm going to try to get you a video out to explain um, a couple directions, maybe the one balloon animals. Or something because um, I, I do want to get back into the twisting on cam because I really miss y'all guys and I really miss doing my videos but um yeah I think that's about it I'm sorry it took so long I know most uh, audiences take about five minutes but <laughs> this is an eight minute video uh, well closer to nine or ten probably but thank you for hanging with me and if you have any questions about anything, please email me. If you have asked questions about balloons in the past that I have not answered, I am sorry. Um, I've been really busy with restaurants and things like that. And my business will be jumping off, like I said, in two or three months. So I'm working really hard on getting that going. So please just send me that email back and I'll try my best to get it out to you. But for right now, that's all I can think of. Um, Y'all just keep twisting, have fun, and peace.